This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Philippines, good evening. I'm Bagarabi. Santos yung salabi si kaya amin. Maya pa bengi keka. Marahin na banggi sa hindi gubos. Maupay nga gabi ha iyong atanan dida. Buenas noches. Mayong mayong gabi sa Dibok Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, up to Saba. Marhaban kay Falik, kay Falhal. Bismillah rahman irahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi talak barakatu. Ako po si Eric Espina at ito ang inyong Republika. Incorporated as part of our series for Pag-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-
these different issues uh, coming from different sectors together. Uh -huh. In 2013, did you have plans of running also? Yes, I had plans of running. I was going around, uh, around uh, the Philippines. Uh -huh. And of course, there was a long list. Uh -huh. And so, so I was included in the long list. Okay. And then maybe uh, I was included in the last 15 and then uh -huh. later on. Uh, I, th uh, I, I was not anymore included. Did, did you suffer the same fate as uh, the late Senator Biason? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard about that. <laughs> Maybe we have similar... <laughs> <laughs> similar stories. Similar stories. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard about it. That's right. Okay. But that would have been the right time, no? What, what, is it, was it more appropriate? More propitious for you in 2013? Or well, it looking would, at your chances? It would be a lot easier at the time. You had also a popular president. Yes. No. And you had the majority? And we had the majority. So, so it would be less difficult compared to now. Uh -huh. But of course, what is uh, interesting now is that uh, it seems that uh, uh, the country is polarized. Okay. No? And uh, slowly, although you may have the numbers of the president still up, uh -huh. It seems that the people can't understand why, uh -huh. uh, why they are feeling these hardships uh -huh. in the country right now. So, so the the challenge is there. It'll be more difficult, but it'll be it's worth the mm -hmm. worth the challenge. Uh -huh. uh, what's the difference between 2013 and the present in terms of the Liberal Party leadership? Well, of course, there's a change in the leadership. Yes. Uh, in 2013, uh, the chairman of the party was, of course, still. President Aquino at the time, yes, uh, and then of course the president of the party was uh, Juna Baya, yes. You know? So so now it's the president of the party is uh, is Kiko Kiko Pangilinan, Pangilinan, okay, and the chairman is the vice president, okay, and it's basically the vice president who who decides, no, who has the last say on who will run, who uh -huh. will be, who will comprise the ticket, uh -huh. and. Uh, the strategy that the party is going to take. And did you manifest uh, your intention to be running in this election? Yes, also? I did. Okay. I did. Uh, uh, and you were in the short list this time? Well, the list is short. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The okay, list okay. Is short. okay. 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 Uh, well, I was I was part of the the initial uh, names already announced as mm -hmm. early as September 25. Mm -hmm. That was, uh, of course, re-electionist uh, Senator Bam Aquino, mm -hmm. myself, mm -hmm. and uh, Chel Jokno, who, mm -hmm. who I'm also very happy decided to throw his hat uh -huh. uh, now uh, because we need people of known uh, principles to uh -huh. stand up. Uh -huh. uh, I heard about Alex Padilla. What happened? Why did he not run? I, he would have been probably a good senator, like his father. That's another person we've been waiting and trying to convince, but it seems na wala sa dugo niya eh. Really? Na tumakbo. Huh? Sayang, sayang si Alex. Uh -huh. He would be a very uh, welcome addition also to the slate, and if he makes it to the Senate, he will be a very... Uh, diligent like his father's yeah. religious person. I've worked with Alex yes. in the human rights uh, campaign during, mm -hmm. uh, during uh, well, uh, the Kuratong Baleleng, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, even before that against martial law. Mm -hmm. Who are the other candidates now for uh, running with you? Well, uh, we have eight. So again, uh, let's go by, of course, uh, Alphabetica. seniority. Uh, seniority, okay. Seniority, uh, of Kiko. course. No, they're not Kiko. Kiko, Kiko is not running. Senator Mar. Ah, oh, Senator Mar. Yes, Senator yes, yes. Mar Rojas. Okay. Senator Bam Aquino. Okay. And then uh, myself. Okay. Uh, and then there's Jokno. Okay. And then there's Gary Alejano. Yes. Magdalo. Magdalo. Yes. And then there is... He has formally joined the Liberal Party? No, no. Uh, uh, it is, it's a coalition. Coalition, okay. Coalition. Uh, there is uh, Samira Gutok, Tobawis. Oh, okay. There is uh, Attorney Romy Mack. Makalintal, yes. yes. Uh, and there is uh, attorney Florine Hilby. Was it difficult to convince uh, uh, Romy Makalintal to run? You know, I, I, I really don't know the process that went there. Uh -huh. What is clear that is that uh, he is the lawyer of the vice president okay. in the Comlec case. Uh -huh. And I think uh, he had, uh, he had uh, a lot of uh, uh, maybe meetings with the vice president mm -hmm. with regard to her cases, and maybe it was the vice president who convinced him. Who convinced him. Okay. Uh, why not a full 12? 
you know, uh, in the history of, uh, of Philippine elections, no one wins 12-0. Okay. Even during, during the pre-martial law uh, times. Yes, no? yes. Except in one, one instance. Okay. In 1978. Okay. I think, uh, I don't know if your father was part of the Laban group. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yun, uh, first day, uh, the Everybody. opposition was winning, 18-3. Yes. yes. Second day, 16-5. Uh, uh -huh. Third day, the counting was already in the camps. Yes. 21-0. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, 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 in a normal situation, there will always be at least two, two from the opposition that will that will uh, get in. Okay. And uh, if we go back to the immediate uh, history, uh, in the midterms of 2013, mm -hmm. uh, three and three got in. Uh -huh. That was uh, Nancy Binay, yes. Senator Gringo Nasan, and Senator J.V. Ejercito. Mm -hmm. In uh, 2007, uh -huh. the opposition won there, 7-5. Yes. Uh -huh. So, so, uh, we can say that uh, even at the height of Cory, yes, yes, uh, it was uh, twenty-two-two. Yes, yes, yes. So, so uh, the administration does not really win a twelve-zero election. Uh -huh. So, if we field a twelve, uh, knowing that all twelve will not win, uh -huh. uh, then it, let us try to be strategic. You, okay. you, you field. A, a senatorial team that is credible mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, and uh, which has the possibility of winning and maybe it's easy to negotiate or go to a barangay captain mm -hmm. o ito yung kwan may apat na blanco mm -hmm. sa ina basta ikarga mo yung walo Butchaba doesn't want to run for senate? No, he's running for congress Okay what he would be a good addition for the Senate. Well, he tried already running for the Senate in 1992. Oh. Uh, as a matter of fact, that, that was the LPPDP coalition, yes, yes, yes. Salonga Pimentel. Uh -huh. And uh, I think he, he'd rather take his chances in Batanes. Batanes. I see. Okay, there was one name that uh, passed my ear. I, I'm not too familiar. You can give a little yes. background on uh, sound Islamic to me. Ah, Samira yeah. uh, Gutok Tomawis. Yes, yes. Uh, she was the member of the Bangsamoro Transition Commission. Okay. And uh, that was uh, drafting the draft BBL. Mm -hmm. And when the pre he, he, she has shown that she has principles also. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, when the president declared martial law mm -hmm. uh, in Mindanao, she resigned. Mm -hmm. uh, she's from Marawi. Mm -hmm. And uh, we believe that uh, she will she will be a great addition to the team. Mm -hmm. And uh, who knows, she, uh, she might be the f first uh, mm -hmm. female uh, Muslim since uh, Senator Nina Rasul. Yes, ran in uh, eighty seven. Mm, Santa it's, Nina Rasul. Yes. Yeah, it's been a while since we had a Muslim uh, yeah. Muslim senator in the Philippine Senate. Um, uh, with her speaking skills uh -huh. and uh, young uh, courage, uh -huh. I think uh, maybe she has a, she will have a chance. She is she has a regional party or she joined the Liberal Party. She's part of the coalition. How is this? She's part of the coalition. Okay. Uh, she's part of a a Bank Samoro group. Okay. You know, that uh, that submitted uh, her name to the Liberal Party. Okay. Republica will pause for a few reminders and when we return, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll continue talking to uh, Senator Erin Tanyada. <laughs>